Okay, uh, welcome everyone. Um, Happy New Year 2022. Today we're having um, the NVIDIA HPC SDK training organized as a joint event for uh, NERSC, Oak Ridge, and Argon users, and some other people who are interested in this training as well. Uh, organizers are myself and Chris Daly from NERSC, Suzanne Parakit Kuhn, Tom Papasiodor, Sherry Ray from Oak Ridge, and Yasuman Gardor and Ray Loy from Argon. So then and I are going to present this uh, welcome slide. First of all, um, this NVIDIA HPC SDK is the comprehensive suite for Chan C, C++ development tools and libraries. Um, it is the default and recommend compiler for parameter GPU. Um, this hands-on training is provided by NVIDIA. Um, thank you very much, Jeff Locking, Brad Labac, Max Katz, Matt Stack, and Robert Sears. Um, the presenters also helps with all this preparation for the hands-on exercise for us. The topics of um, this training would include GPU architecture, HPC software developer considerations, the standard language acceleration libraries, OpenACC, OpenMP Open offload, CUDA, and profiling tools. The first, some of the logistics. Uh, everyone is muted upon joining. And I would like you to please change your name in Zoom session, the first name and the last name. So it will help us to know who you are. You can click the participants on bottom and then move next to your name. You can rename, um, find your name and rename it. As I mentioned in the chat, uh, the captions and view for transcripts are enabled. You can save the transcripts if you like as well. You can turn on and off uh, the captions. And uh, if you haven't joined Slack yet, please join in. I'll post the link again in the Zoom if you um, join the Zoom session late. So we prefer use Slack instead of Zoom for questions. It's threaded and also uh, recorded. So we'll be posting the slides um, in the presentations channel in Slack and we'll post-process videos and publish them um, as well later. We have hands-on exercises. This is a GitHub repo. Uh, we will also post it again in chat or in Slack for you. Uh, nurse users will use Poor Mother, Oak Ridge users will use Summit, and other users, including a ARCF users, will uh, use the NERSC training account. You should have received another email for um, applying for one. And we also prepared a survey. Please help us answer the survey question after the training. Uh, quick agenda. This is day one today. Um, I don't need to repeat the talks and everything. I just want to mention we have a break at 1030 for 15 minutes. And then the, um, at the end of the, the day, there's a big um, demo lab uh, break session. People, you, um, you would go to the GitHub and start to work on your own for a little bit. And at, at 12 o'clock, we have a short demo and then you can have the remaining of the time continue work on the uh, hands off. Uh, similar for day two, um, again, with break and the lab and demo at the end. Day two, I have open ACC, OpenMP, and CUDA. Um, just to repeat, day one is the stood part and um, profiling. So some quick parameter usage info. Um, existing users have already been added to the Entrain 4 project. This is purely for the purpose of uh, accessing the compute node reservation for today and tomorrow. Uh, you, you don't have to use Entrain 4 outside of the reservation hours. And the training accounts, um, if you're a non-user, the training account on Perimeter expires on January 18th. You need to add these two flags to use the reservation and hours are 10.30 to 1.30 p.m. Um, on each day. It's uh, one hour beyond the official end of the training event. Like I said, outside the reservations, remove this reservation dash dash reservation flag. And also you could change to whichever um, account you belong to and add dash G to it to, to your S batch flag. There's a parameter documentation, uh, has everything. And have more uh, absolute, um, more links about compiling and running and profiling in a later slide. So a little bit cheat sheet, uh, you would module load NVIDIA, although it's loaded by default, but if you start to use some other environment when you need to load, you need to load this uh, back. Uh, you could compile with native compilers, NV4Chan, NVC, NVC++, or CUDA NVCC. 
And you could also use create compiler wrappers, um, especially if you use an MPI along with all these uh, NVIDIA uh, program languages with FTN, little CC, and capital CC uh, for Fortran, C, and C++ uh, respectively. For stdpar, you would add dash stdpar and some libraries, dash L, some libraries, or then P dash MP equals GPU, dash GPU equals CC80, which is the A100 GPU on parameter. OpenACC dash ACC, um, the equals GPU is actually optional because it's default. And then dash GPU CC equals CC80 again. For CUDA, just add dash CUDA. Those languages can be uh, mixed in the same programming, uh, language, so in same application code as well. And we do recommend you add, use dash M info flag when compiled, and I'll show you lots of detailed uh, compiling information to see. <clears throat> uh, and then there's also NV compiler ACC node five flag. It's pretty useful. Uh, you can set it to one, two, or three. That shows you all these uh, kernel launch, data transfer, etc., and works for CUDA, OpenACC, and OpenMP offload programs. Then you would prepare a batch, a certain batch script, and a batch my script. So here's a sample compile around script. Um, just I'm not giving everything, but just a stood part in OpenMP offload example. Like I said, you could use NVC plus plus native or cap wrapper capital CC for C plus plus code. You could use NV Fortran or FTN for a Fortran code, and uh, respect respective flags here as well. And then here is the uh, sample batch script. Um, today we have reservation nodes. Um, we uh, would like you to use S batch instead of interactive um, S alloc, as, um, so everybody can have a turn uh, to use these nodes. And these are a few of the flags here. Um, number of nodes. You have to see GPU, num num um, the, the features, uh, number of nodes, number of GPU, number of CPU, etc. And here's a uh, uh, actually. This is updated. Um, let's look at here. So some of the uh, compilation uh, parameters links are here, running jobs. Uh, this is updated as of last night. So if you've been looking uh, through the parameter uh, information, you go to the parameter webpage and you would be able to find the running jobs section as well. For inside systems, we, it's another link here and then you would run with instance profile that says stats equal true instead of uh, in, in front of your executable. We do recommend to install an X, which name is uh, and no stands for no machine. It uh, greatly improves X forwarding when using GUI tool, uh, tools. You have uh, instruction here, so this is very useful for uh, profiling tools today. If you don't have a time to install this yet, uh, you can do it afterwards. Um, it's and there's another added um, feature added advantage for this is that it's it's sort of is similar to screen, so it remembers where you are. It, even if your internet connection drops off, you logs out or log in again, the session is still there for you um, as where you left it off. So I'm going to um, pass on to Suzanne to pre present on the summit information. Thank you, Helen. Uh, okay, so for the summit information, you're going to run with your user account ID, but we have a reservation that goes from the beginning to the end of this training, so today, you would add B sub minus U NVIDIA SDK one. And then tomorrow, same same deal, the reservation lasts the duration of the training, but it's NVIDIA SDK two. Uh, to load the NVHPC module, it is not default. So you'll have to module load NVHPC 21.9. My cheat sheet is very similar to Helen's. We also recommend you compile with the M info flag. Uh, there's the flags for, in, uh, enabling OpenMP and OpenACC. There are there is a wealth of information about these compilers and compiler docs, and there's a link. Um, we have an example batch script. You probably you won't have to use this cheat sheet because all of these things are in the Git repo uh, that, that NVIDIA has prepared for you. And then you, of course, would submit your batch scripts with bsub your batch script.lfs. But those are all provided for you in the hands on. And I suppose most of you, since your users already know these things. Next slide. Oh. <laughs> so the one thing that's very different for Summit users than for the Perlmutter, Perlmutter and ALCF users who are also using Perlmutter 
Uh, the Insight systems, this is what you're gonna use for profiling. The GUI is not supported on Summit. So you might've gotten an email from me just before the training that you need to download the Insight UI if you want to look at your profiles visually. Uh, there's two ways to do that. You can download it as an NVIDIA developer, which has versions for Windows, Mac, and x86 Linux. You'll need to register though, before you do this as an NVIDIA developer. And if you click that link, it will first send you to the registration. You can use any email. So yourself at hotmail.com, it doesn't matter. You don't have to use your work email. The other way you can do it without having to, let, to register as an NVIDIA developer is to download the whole CUDA toolkit, which has a wealth of useful software, but you will need to, um, you know, you need to install that entire system on your computer. Another point on Summit, uh, when you do your profiles during the training, I think this is noted in the repo, make sure you're writing your Insight profile reports to GPFS. The compute nodes cannot write to your home area. So either download the Git repo in the GPFS or uh, redirect your output in your batch script to go to GPFS. And I think Max and Robbie and company have already taken care of that in the profiling. But that's just a helpful reminder anytime you want to use a profile on Summit that you need to put the output in GPFS because it won't write to your home directory. Uh, that's all I've got.